And here is the line that he drew so that it's not perpendicular. Right, you see that? Now, James, can you count how many angles you think are there? Five, six, seven, eight. Good, eight. So using your multiplication combinations that we know and love, because we love our math, we want to be able to look at these numbers and we want to kind of break it apart to solve it. With expanded learning time, I am able to um, have a 90-minute math period, whereas before, only having a six-hour day was probably shortened to only an hour. We have a new curriculum with the Turk. It's a new extended Turk. So I feel um, I'm able to complete all of the curriculum, all of the Turk curriculum. Um, I'm also able to um, practice um, math ba basic skills, which I wasn't able to do in the past. I think it's a really strong piece because some of the kids only know the basic algorithm, and it's a really great time for them to share and learn how other kids are solving the problem. And one of those ways might be more comfortable for them. There's a few times that they went, oh, you can see the light bulb go off. Oh, I didn't know how to do it that way, and they'll try it the next time. Right now, if I could take 10, times 12 because here's the 10 and here's the 10. That's where I'm getting it. I'm not pulling numbers out of a hat. No way. This is where I'm getting the numbers. And then I could do, I love my fives tables, I could do 5 times 12. And here is I'm getting my 5. Here's my 5 and here's my 5. Everybody with me? Everybody following with me? Super. The piece that was missing before without extended um, learning time was that we're able to discuss all the different strategies we used um, to solve the, the math problems. Yes, the way? I counted by 15. You counted by 15. Okay, excellent. Great. In your head? Wonderful. I've seen great mathematicians. The setting for my math period is a much calmer setting. I don't feel as rushed. We're able to have um, a mini lesson, which is called the launch. After we have the launch, the kids are able to go into small groups and work in groups or work independently. With the extra time, more so like in the afternoon, that's a period where the kids would be able to go back into maths. Um, so if I did my hour and a half lesson of math, later in the afternoon we'd be able to do about and maybe an extra 30 minutes and do the games um, that um, coincide with the lesson. So we were doing uh, multiplication clusters um, today and learning how to break apart numbers. So this afternoon they'll be able to play the game using different flashcards, using the multiplication combinations. Just There's a lot of extra material that we never really had a chance to do. We could only do the meat. We couldn't get to the fun part of it. So with the extended day we're able to do some more fun activities in the afternoon. With the expanded learning time, um, we're afforded the time to do, let's say for example, the math calendar. Every class in this school does the math calendar from 7.45 until 8.15. And, and the next one, I'm just going to give you the input. I'd like you to figure out the rule and finish the pattern. When they come back at 9 o'clock, I do an hour and 15 minutes of math, regular math, in addition to our calendars. Math Investigations is the core um, instruction that we have here in school. And we are a standards-based school department. And we knew that the teachers, when they were going through math investigations, some of the standards are not addressed. So what we find is not addressed in math investigations is put into the calendar math. When we start the calendar in the morning, so we may say, OK, what is today's date? So some, the children you know, look at the calendar, and they say, you know, today is um, Tuesday, May 6th. But they're looking at pattern pieces. Each month, um, the pieces change, and there's a different pattern. I'm going to add a coin to the coin counter, and I'd like you to write um, today's coin value as a decimal, as a fraction, okay? In addition to seeing patterns and pattern pieces on the calendar, um, we'll do time, money, decimals, fractions, how many days we've been in school. We add money to a daily depositor, then there'll be, you know, sometimes I'll, we'll round the money to the nearest thousand, we'll, it's place value. I'm going to ask you right now to draw on your whiteboard. If you could draw parallel lines. Excellent. Okay, now, could you please draw an intersecting line through your parallel lines, but not perpendicular? Intersecting line through your parallel lines that are not perpendicular. 
for May, um, I chose to repeat a pattern that we had done earlier in the year, and it was with parallel lines, intersecting lines, line segments, because I found that we don't do a lot of work with that, and kids were a little bit weak on that, so I thought, let's put that back on there, especially before MCAS, so they have a review of you know, those standards. Prior to expanded learning time, there wasn't an, um, a lot of time afforded for calendar and the regular math program so that you could get it in, but you didn't have the time to you know, get to the end of all those lessons that you wanted to. We're all afforded the opportunity to have the time to really investigate math. You know, there's, there's something to be said when you walk in a room and you can actually present a lesson, do a mini lesson, whatever it is that the concept you're working on, and actually let children explore that for 45 minutes and then come back and recap the whole lesson and have them share out. I mean, you know, when you're afforded the time, great things happen in classrooms, you know, it is good.